light beings hey thank you for tuning in to chakra energy light welcome to the session on chakra health and authenticity today we're going to explore how to be more authentic and true to ourselves by connecting with mother earth chakra and clearing any trauma that may be blocking our energy flow you may be wondering what is the mother earth chakra and why is it important the Mother Earth Chakra, also known as the Earth Star Chakra, is located about 12 inches below your feet. It is associated with the color black and the element of Earth. It represents your connection to the Earth, nature, and your ancestors. It also anchors your energy and provides stability, security, and support. When your Mother Earth Chakra is balanced, you feel grounded, centered, and confident. When it is blocked, you may feel disconnected, fearful, or restless. One of the reasons why your mother earth chakra may be blocked is because of trauma. Trauma is any experience that overwhelms your nervous system, causes you to feel unsafe, helpless, or threatened. Trauma can be physical, emotional, or psychological, and it can affect your body, mind, and soul for years to come. Trauma can also be stored in your chakras, especially in your root, sacral, and solar plexus chakras, which are closely related to Mother Earth chakra. When trauma is stored in your chakras, it can prevent you from being authentic and expressing your true self. So how can you clear trauma from your chakras and connect with your Mother Earth chakra? There are many techniques that you can use, but today I will share with you three of them. Crystals, EFT tapping, and meditation. Let's start with crystals. Crystals are natural stones that have healing properties and can help balance your chakras. For your Mother Earth chakra, I recommend using obsidian and rose quartz. Obsidian is a black stone that can absorb negative energy and protect you from harm. This helps you when you go back into those uh, repressed memories, um, those childhood memories that we tend to block out. This helps you protect your energy and keep it from going to a very, very low vibration. And the rose quartz is a pink stone that can heal your heart and promote love and compassion. Because once you go back, you're going to need love and compassion passion for yourself. There is always shoulda, coulda, woulda, but we know that we make the best decisions at the time because that is what we know to do. So when you understand you made the best decision in whatever circumstance, trauma um, that you are revisiting and have compassion for yourself and others that may have been a part of that trauma, it's very easy for you to heal or easier to heal with the rose quartz. So that's why I say use obsidian um, and rose quartz, which is a pink stone that can heal your heart and promote that love and compassion. You can place these crystals near your feet or hold them in your hands while you do the following exercises. The second technique is EFT tapping or emotional freedom technique. EFT tapping is a method of tapping on certain acupressure points on your body while saying affirmations. You don't have to say affirmations, you can do it also while listening to meditation. EFT tapping can help you release emotional stress and trauma from your body and mind. For your mother earth chakra, you can tap on the following points. The top of your head, as I am doing, the eyebrow, the side of your eye, the under eye, under the nose, the chin, the collarbone, and under the arms. As you tap on each point, you can say the following affirmations. I am that I am. Another affirmation is, I am connected to the earth and all living beings. I am protected by the divine and 
my ancestors. I am loved and supported by the universe. I release any trauma that is blocking my energy flow. I am free to be myself and express my truth. So if you can see, these are six affirmations that um, you can say that is about a week's worth of um, trauma clearing, EFT tapping. And you may need a longer time. If you do, be patient with yourself. Only you would know how much time you would need to clear out that trauma. But these affirmations, whether you do one a day or you pick three or you pick one that really um, sits with you and what you have been through in your life and use that to tap on these um, specific points. Okay, Moving on to the third technique is meditation. Meditation is a practice of focusing your attention on a single object such as your breath, a mantra, or a sound. Meditation can help calm your mind, relax your body, and enhance your awareness. For your Mother Earth Chakra, you can do a mind-body-soul meditation, which involves three steps. The arm meditation, ground stretching, and then releasing that energy to Mother Earth. And here's how we do it. So in the arm meditation, sit comfortably on the floor or on a chair with your spine straight and your feet flat or your butt flat on the ground. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Then start chanting the sound OM, which is the universal sound of creation. Chant OM for as long as you feel comfortable and feel the vibration of the sound in your body. Own meditation can help align your chakras and connect you with the source of life. Now we have the grounding stretch. After you finish chanting all Open your eyes and slowly stand up. Then do some gentle stretches to loosen up your muscles and joints. You can bend forward and touch your toes. Twist your tor torso from side to side. Or roll your shoulders and neck. Ground stretching can help release any tension or stiffness in your body and make you feel more grounded and flexible. Now we're going to release it back to Mother Earth. After you finish stretching, sit back down on the floor or on a chair with your spine straight and your feet flat on the ground or your butt flat on the ground. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Then imagine that there's a cord of light that connects your Mother Earth chakra to the center of the Earth. Lastly, we're going to release the trauma energy back to Mother Earth. After you finish stretching, sit back down on the floor or in a chair with your spine straight and your feet flat on the ground or your butt flat on the ground. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Then imagine that there is a cord of light that connects your Mother Earth chakra to the center of the Earth. Feel the energy of the Earth flowing through the cord and into your chakra. Then imagine that you are sending any trauma, pain, or negativity that you are holding on to through the core and into the earth. Feel the earth absorbing as if it's pulling it out of you and then transforming your energy into positive and 
healing energy. Release to Mother Earth can help you let go of any trauma that is weighing you down and receive the nourishment and support of the Earth. So as you can see, these techniques can help you clear trauma from your chakras and connect with your Mother Earth chakra. By doing so, you can enhance your authenticity and be more true to yourself. Authenticity is to know yourself, to accept yourself, and to express yourself. When you are authentic, you can live a more harmonious and fulfilling life in which we all strive to do. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoyed this session on Chakra Health and Authenticity. Talk to you later. Bye.